Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a full event analysis of the Tree of Might event on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle on top of the cards and items that are farmable from this event. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright, so at the point of this recording is currently June 23rd, 2017, so if there's been any updates to this event, this video is not going to reflect it. Um, this is up until June of 2017. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to be going over all of the levels first, and then we're going to go talk about the items that drop and then the cards that drop. So, level 1, the Earth's Greatest Threat. You go up against the two twins, Mind Power Destruction Raisin and Twin Blitzer Lakase, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're both tech types. The mind, the um, twin Blitzer Lakase is farmable from this event. He um, is, is essentially the brother, the, the linking buddy with the raisin card that drops. They're both the tech units. They're both rares, uh, but they're really good linking buddies. Uh, you have a drop rate for this card on this event, level one of this event, and you could also drop fruit of the tree of might. Level 2, Retaliating with Skill. Uh, again, you go up against the two brothers, they're both tech types again, um, but this time you also go up against Ferocious Physique Amond. Now, Amond is a strength type unit, so make sure you bring an agility to fight him. This level also drops the Icarus item and more Fruit of the Tree of Might. Level 3, Mechanical Malice. You go up against Amond again, and then you go up against Kakao, who is an agility unit. So it's a strength and agility team, make sure you bring a tech unit and uh, an agility one if you're, you know, obviously these events are very easy at this point in the game if you have top tier units but if you're just starting um this is more tailored towards you guys make sure you bring a tech and an agility unit they should still be easier to beat though however you know because it's not it's an older event and even the older event was a little bit easier drop rate on this one you also get the twin blitzer lacasse uh, he is droppable it says here about a 20 percent drop rate and then a 50 percent drop rate for the fruit of the tree of might uh, level four crumbling earth here you go up against Kakao and the Physical Days, Daring Charger Days. Um, he is an extreme physical unit, bring a strength type character and a technique type character technique and strength type characters. The strength is obviously going to be weak against Kakao because he is an agility, but make sure you bring them so that way you can go up against uh, the physical. Uh, anyway, this level has a chance to drop Daring Charger Days. It also drops Fruit of the Tree of Might item and Fruit of the Tree of Might metal. So that's really good. That's a really good level, actually. Level 5, Ambitious Turles. You go up against Days first, who's a physical unit, and then you go up against Turles, the strength type unit. Now, this level has a droppable card, the Twin Blaze Blitzer Lakase Again, you also get the Fruit of the Tree of Might item and the fruit of the tree of might metal and it is constant throughout all this you keep on getting all these different drops it's been it's actually kind of gets repetitive after a while level six ferocious goku you go up against days amand kakao and the two twin brothers lakase and raisin and then after you beat all them on the first stage you go up against the turlets now obviously you're going to be going up against every single type and except an intelligence so good luck <laughs> uh, I think the tech type would be the only one you could bring on this, so that way you don't have a weakness. So if you have a mono tech team, go for it and go after him. If you have an OP account, don't even worry about it because you'll blast right through it. Um, this level drops anywhere between 0 to 15 for the Tree of Might Metal, so it's a 50% drop rate. Um, level 7, Spirit Bomb Miracle. You go up against the Intelligence Turles. Uh, that is the Intelligence Turles, the Fearsome Tree of Might Turles. He actually has a droppable card also, Superior Suppressor Turles. We're going to go over that in a little bit. And they he has a 15% drop rate, so that's really, really bad. It's very hard to get him to drop, but um, whatever, you know, he is farmable. And you also have the Fruit of the Tree of Might Metals, level 8, Peace Restored. First, you go up against an Agility Bardock, who is Star-Crossed Fate Bardock. And then the second round, you go up against the Strength Turles, uh, Superior Suppressor Turles. This level drops both the Turles, the actual um, Strength Unit, and the Icarus card. He has a 5% drop rate, though, for the actual unit itself, the card itself. It has a 70% drop rate for that Icarus, which is a little bit better for the Icarus card. Level 9, Outclassed. You go up against the physical and technique Raditz and Nappa, and then after you beat that stage, you go up against the strength Turles again. This stage drops the strength Turles at 5% and the fruit of the tree might item um, for 70%. That's the one you use as a support item. Level 10, Sworn Enemy. The first the first two, the first stage you go up against is the agility um, 
and well, both of them are agility, Bardock and the Goku. Determined Defender Goku and Star-Crossed Fate Bardock. At the second stage is Fearsome Tree of Might Turles. He's an intelligence unit. This level has a drop rate of Superior Suppressor Turles and also has a 50% drop rate for the Fruit of the Tree of Might. Now here's a little disclaimer. If you guys are lacking Baba points, this level is really good. By the way, thank you really much so much to the wiki, the Dragon Ball Z DBZ dash Dokkan Battle dot wiki uh, wiki com. Um, this is where I'm getting all my information from. If you guys can't tell from the screenshot, uh, thank you for letting us know this. In this level, you get the fruit of the tree of my medals. You get so many of them that drop from level ten that and you could sell them in the Baba shop for up to 12 Baba points each. There's also um, a PSA uh, public service announcement on the Reddit as of today. Well, not as of today, but as of June. It was launched three days ago by Orange Beef, uh, Orange X Beef. The Fruit of the Tree of Might event is a great way to farm Baba points. You can get 30 to 50 Tree of Might Awakening medals per run, and each one sells for 12 Baba points. So you get a lot of those Baba, of those Fruit of the Tree of Might medals at, at you know, 12 Baba points a piece. Let's say you get 10 at 12. I mean, let's say 10 times. That's 100 Baba points right there. And if you're getting up to like 30 per round, that's about 300 per round. And I mean, we're going to go over a little bit why you're going to want to grind out this level, a level 10 for the, for those uh, medals and for that card in a little bit. But it, it's going to be more viable when, I, when we talk about it. Level 11, Blood of the Saiyan Race. This level, you first go up against the intelligence, uh, Oaken Awakened version of Turles, Violent, Violent Turles. Then the second round, the second stage of it, you go up against Annihiling Power Turles. Um, this one also has the Gohan Youth Great Ape in it, in it, so you're going up against those two at the same time on the stage. Uh, that's a tech and an intelligence unit. Uh, this one drops Turles medals that is used to Doken Wake in his intelligence form. He also has a support item, Fruit of the Tree of Might, as a 20% drop rate, and just some other random training item at 5%. The Turles medals that are used to Doken Wake in him are at 50% drop rate. Additional information, you can obtain the Fruit of the Tree of Might support items from the silver blue support items on the map. Level 11 can drop between 0 to 2 token awakening medals or just two of the fruit of the tree of might depending on when you go up against him uh, mission rewards if you haven't cleared it yet you receive one fruit of the tree of might support item by clearing se uh, seven stages on the normal difficulty you also receive one um one icarus by clearing seven stages on the normal difficulty you receive one days by clearing that's the physical days the card that's droppable by clearing seven stages on the hard difficulty Clear stage 5 on Z-Hard with an intelligence team only, you get 50 medals, um, Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. Clear six, stage 6 on Z-Hard with a tech team only, you get 50 uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. And clear stage 7 on the Z-Hard with agility team only, you get 50 Fruit of the Tree of Might medals. Now, I know that's a very long-winded, very boring, I'm sorry about that, guys. I just want to go over all the different levels for you. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual two items that drop here. One is Fruit of the Tree of Might. Now, this is a very, very, very good item. Grind the hell out of this item. This one gives you key plus three for all allies for three turns. This one allows you to get super attacks off. If you so, let's say you have uh, a demigod leader. That's a 100% leader at this point in the game. Like let's just use self for instance. You get 100% stack buff on everything. So that means you get HP, attack, and defense all 100% stack, but you don't have any key. And let's say you use like an LR Broly friend for some reason. You have him as an LR Broly friend and you don't have like an Omega Shenron or someone else to run on the team like a Gogeta or whatever. You use this and it will give you the six key that you need. This is also super, super useful on the LR events. Sometimes when you run that LR event, one of the LR events will say LR Goku. Um, actually, we'll do LR Frieza because I already have the team fresh in my mind. You have the TN, which gives you the HP and attack buff of 50%, and then you have the Vegeta, which you which gives you the key plus three. Now, if you saw my video, um, you, if I remember, I'll put a card up over here so that way it links to the video. I used the Fruit of the Tree of Might to make sure that I had the key to make sure my super attacks went off. This is where you get it from this event. This is the Fruit of the Tree of Might. This is a very good item. Um, and you know, obviously, as you get become a better player and you get more and more cards, uh, there's going to be a lack of a need for it because you're going to have really good key linking um, cards. But just keep in mind that this is the level you want to grind for it. It's a very good support item. The next one we're going to talk about is the Droppable Icarus. Damage received reduced by 35% for two turns. This is really good uh, in terms of the amount of reduction for the amount of turns. Obviously, you have the King Yama who does a 50%. Um, reduction, but it's only good for one turn. This is meant for a longer term battle. Again, typically I use the Icaruses on the free to play events, uh, the LR, like the LR Goku and the LR Freeze event. Outside of that, I really don't use them too often, but it's just good to know that this is a very, another good viable uh, support item that you should be grinding out as well if you are a newer player. 
I just realized that this video is going on way too long, so I'm not going to go ahead and do the card analysis in this video. I am going to do the card analysis in another video, which I'm going to have linked down in the description below, and I'm going to have it at the end of this video. So that way you guys can go ahead and click that if you want to go talk look about the cards. I recommend it because I go over the farmable Turles and why he is a very useful card. Uh, thanks guys, appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next video.